You don't find guys with that kind of loyalty anymore. <laughs> Frank did say to say hi to you, Dean. I know how much it means to you. <laughs> Dean's the kind of guy you can say golf a bit. Uh, uh, Frank Sinatra was hit by a bus. Well, I won't take my nine iron and live. <laughs> Right up on the green. And then Frank's gonna hear your attitude and you're gonna wind up on a hook in a garage in Chicago. <laughs> anyway, uh, look at that. The big Irish guy went, what, what does that mean, Rose? <laughs> Two Irish guys, they don't know anything. You just know how to go at a picnic and take a can of beer and go... <laughs> but we need the Irish. Because <laughs> we ain't gonna put out no fire. You can bet on that. <laughs> well, isn't the truth? Get in there! Captain Duffy, get in there, Quinn! Get that fire up! And the Jewish guy's usually outside. More wood, Herbie, more wood. <laughs> and the black man's on the corner going, I bet we get blamed for this, too. <laughs> and the Polish kid's going, for what? Son of a gun, when you fool with the wife, you must light a match and blow up. <laughs> and last but not least, Captain Cernan, uh, I was overjoyed that this man would be here tonight. Uh, I must say, I was at the launch when Apollo 17 went to the moon. Many of us forget uh, great courage and great Americans at a time of need with our country today. And I do not preach politics or just try to do jokes. But in this man, I take exception because he is a delightful, wonderful, great hero. And I must tell you, ladies and gentlemen, to see that rocket take off from the launch pad and to be with his family and his dear ones and to watch this great, wonderful human being call me the night before and say, hey, Don, uh, we're, we're going to go to the moon. Listen, why don't you go over to the Tiki Club or what have you with the wife and have a couple of drinks and boom, boom. It was so casual and so beautiful that I just stood in awe and I was mesmerized by this great hero. I say to all of you Americans, and not to embarrass you, Gene, I thank you for being here tonight. Most important, these are all performers, but you are really outstanding gentlemen. I thank you for coming. Captain Sam. I want to... <laughs> Dean just said, I I'll go to the moon tonight. You would, but nobody would look up. Uh, uh, I must say, from the bottom of my heart, really, and Kirk Douglas, who was uh, so kind to appear here tonight. Kirk is a dear friend. I was over his house one night, and we had dinner, and I said, Kirk, how do you feel? He said, how's my body look? And I said, wrinkled. Uh, <laughs> I know what I said. And you keep playing everything back. Just keep drinking and say to yourself, your voice is not gone. He's wonderful, though. Can you tell he's 68? Uh, anyway, uh, Captain, his young wife's in the back. Is that how old he is? <laughs> Can you remember the joke? Tomorrow he dies. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I must say, on behalf of my uh, dear wife that... Uh, Forster Brooks made some comments about she is a lovely lady. When we were married, I will never forget, on the wedding night, she looked at me and went, this is exciting. <laughs> In all honesty, to all you married folks out there, I say with, from my heart, my wife, I married a Valium. Uh, <laughs> A Valium. The guy in the back, the Puerto Rican kid went, Why, what the, what the Valium? <laughs> and the Mexican guy went, That's something you plan to, dumb son of a... <laughs> anyway, gang. <laughs> and the Italian guy, here, here's your Valium. <laughs> anyway, uh... By the way, Phyllis Diller, who I love, uh, really, when, when she was born, she must have hit the hospital wall. Uh... <laughs> That's why the hair is, you know. She come out, boom, the doctor went, oh, we missed, Charlie. But I've seen many beautiful women in my lifetime. Phyllis, help her. 
Oh, she's a lovely comedian and a dear friend. And her wonderful husband, Ward Donovan, couldn't be here tonight. His cape blew up. <laughs> on the wedding night, he stood on top of the sink and went, Batman! <laughs> anyway, uh... I can, I can say anything I want. Dan, Dan Rowan's sitting here going, you, you can't say that. What am I gonna do? What you and Dick did on your special? And here he is, Charlie and his monkey. <laughs> anyway, it wasn't bad, because that'll be picked up. Anyway, uh, I'd like you to know that uh, on behalf of my wife, Barbara, my dear mother in Florida, who I love dearly, and I spoke to her on the phone tonight, I said, Mom, I'm gonna be on Dean Martin's show. And she said, send him my love. <laughs> she used to know Gabby Hayes. Anyway, but... On behalf of my manager, Joseph Scandori, one of the great Italians, really. He's not here tonight. His ice truck blew up. <laughs> but on behalf of my manager, Mr. Scandori, my darling wife, Barbara, my mother, my two children, my mother-in-law, and my family, I have been blessed with one thing. My humor is aggressive. It is nonsense. The Newharts are dear friends. The Rowan and Martins, everybody on this day is tonight, has made me feel a little bit important. Each day as an actor, when you take an approach with an image of being aggressive and strong, you must wake up every morning, as my father said. He said, Don, when you're different, your heart is open to a little ache. But remember, when you're different, you might capture all the stars. But the whole world will not rally around you. But you have a chance of having them notice you. So go home at night, put your head on the pillow, and thank God for where you've, what you've attained. And maybe God will look down and say, hey. I am grateful to you, son, for doing something different. I like to think that I am different. I like to think that the public will understand me. If they do, I am grateful. To all of you, I wish you what I have, as I say in my performance when I appear. People around you who care. That's our show for tonight. I'd like to thank our guests and a very special thanks to our man of the week, Don Rickles, a man who's free of all prejudices. He hates everybody equally. <laughs> Good night, everybody. I'm on my way home, Catherine. Warm up the hot chocolate.